I'm Fred Minnick, uh, author of Bourbon Curious, Bourbon the Rise, Fall, and Rebirth of American Whiskey, Whiskey Women, Rum Curious, Mead, and um, I've written a lot of shit. Pick out an ascot for you. No. Eh, not my colors. Purple? No. This is like a, an alligator or an ascot. This thing will swallow you. I kind of like that one. alligator one personally. I'm, I'm secure enough in the masculinity. All right, let's get weird. It's like you're being strangled by a very weak person. Hello, my name is Caleb Kilburn, and I'm the master distiller for Kentucky Pearls Distilling Company. Did you get that little rabbit ear there? You're the youngest master distiller. Before that, you were head distiller. Yes, and it's all still very uh, new and nuanced to me. Even as those words came out of your mouth, it's like, whoa. That, that, that happened. Uh, Carson and Corky sat down and I, I believe they questioned people like you and people around the industry and they felt very comfortable that I had achieved enough and that my skill level was at that level so they actually presented it to me at the company Christmas party uh, not too long ago. Oh wow. I've been formulating my idea of like what is a master still and there's a lot of ways to get there and one of them is just an uber talented kind of mm -hmm. like savant kid like yourself. What do we have? We have a barrel sample here. Okay, so this is a sample of some of the, uh, it's actually mingled. It's uh, several different uh, barrels put together, building on each other's strengths of what will be some of our first bourbon. To come okay. Out. It's not quite there yet. I'm gonna be constantly nicking and picking and trying to get it to a point where I can get a little bit better. What's the age on it? This is three years, right around seven months. Okay. This is kind of the, uh, a good indication where it's going. Shall we? Let's do it. Got some real cork there. Now let you. you. All right, so this is batch 15051230M arrow down. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be the name of, of the product? No, no. B15051230M dash. M down. I'm picking up uh, a lot of uh, caramelized sugars here, a lot of sweetness. This is very uh, unique for a product this young. A little bit of oak and some charcoal in there. Something that really caught me off guard as I was going through and I was nosing these samples off the bat, it's surprisingly earthy. Are you thinking mushroom earth or dirt earth or, you know, underneath a rotten board earth? What kind of earth are you talking about here? Leather and tobacco, and kind of like a cigar smoke. Some notes that I normally associate with products that's double or triple edge of this whiskey are becoming to come through. Um, and like you mentioned, it has that beautiful sweetness. Um, usually you don't see both hand in hand. I, I get you know some kind of like floral and some grass, but it sits right there on the mid palate. And that what that tells me, that sweetness that I get on the nose, uh -huh. usually you'd get that on the tip of the palate and it's not getting there. So. I'm thinking this is probably, you know, it's got another year or two in it. And a lot of, you could release it right now and you'd be, be very happy with it. That really nice confectionery sugar you get on the, on on the, the nose, front. I'm not getting it on the tip of the palate. What I do get a lot though is a lot of those savory notes right there in yep. the middle and just a hint of that spice toward the back. So this is, this is a nice, this is a nice step. I think your rye uh, at this age was, you know, far and ahead, you know, for its age but where you are right now with the bourbon, it's going in the right direction. So Thank that's you. very good, yeah. Hey, thanks so much for having me on. Always a pleasure. Cheers, man. Cheers. No, no, you, you do your thing. I'm just gonna, am I in the shot? It's got that, it's got that unique dickle smell. So you know what a dickle smells like? You and like Wilderness Trail and a few other people are doing techniques and methods that are unique to you. Mm -hmm that others cannot pull off. So, but, so you're a farm kid also? I am a farm kid. I love it. You give me 200 pounds of feed to pick up and put on a, on a trailer, boom, got it. Well, I grew up on a dairy farm, so I forgot that one. Too.